My favorite videos to make are commentary videos where I get to sit down and talk about any topic because I love sharing my opinion and my viewpoint with you guys, and you guys seem to enjoy that too. So today I'm starting a new series called Wild Wednesdays. It's inspired by Woody's Gamer Tags Mail Mondays, or if you're newer to the YouTube scene, something you might recognize is the weekly slap where you guys can ask me questions on anything, doesn't have to be gaming related, and I will answer them to the best of my ability and try to give some insight on some of your guys' issues and problems. Now, if you guys want to ask questions for future episodes, join the Discord server in the link in the description. Go to the Wild Wednesdays tab. You can read how to ask questions there, and then you can drop your question, and you guys can either choose to remain anonymous or just be seen as your Discord profile as I answer your questions. So I'm going to be doing this every Wednesday or try to every Wednesday, depending on what's going on. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed these style of videos, if you guys want to see them more frequently or less frequently. Anyway. The first question is something that really hit me hard and made me think about when I was younger and trying to do YouTube. And this question goes as follows. I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time now, but I've been too afraid to tell my dad and stepmom because I fear they won't support me in my dream. They don't even like me playing video games, and I've been playing in secret at my mom's house for at least 12 years now. I want to tell them, but I'm just too afraid to do it. Do you think I should tell them? This is a pretty loaded question, and I feel like a lot of people are in the same situation. Now, I don't want to comment too much on your parents' situation because I don't know too much about your parents' beliefs and their thoughts about video games, but I will try to be as reasonable as possible. So your initial part of the question was, you've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time now, but don't want to tell your parents because you're scared or don't know how to. Personally, for personal experience for me, there is no issue with starting a YouTube channel whatsoever. You could always try and start off a YouTube channel and see where it goes, and you don't have to tell anyone based off of if you don't want them to know or not. However, there is some things that you should tell your parents, and you should be able to tell them what you enjoy in life and what you want to pursue. Now, my parents sound the exact same as your parents, where originally when I started playing video games, they weren't huge fans of it, and when I would make YouTube videos and tell them about it, they never fully supported it because they wanted me to focus on the things that they thought and knew were important in life at that time. So they wanted me to continue to get good grades, improve on my physical and mental health, and develop as a person to the best of my ability, and they just wanted the best for me. And a few years ago, maybe five, even a decade ago, if someone came up to you and if you were a parent and they're in school getting good grades and all of a sudden they say, hey, I want to do this YouTube thing and try it full time. Imagine how a parent is going to feel in that situation. And what I recommend doing is if you feel comfortable enough and you try out YouTube, show them what you do, show them what you enjoy. And if they support you, fantastic. And if they don't support you, then know that doing YouTube makes you happy. And that's what really matters is you finding stuff that makes you happy yourself. But I want to be real with you here. No one should ever be pursuing YouTube as a full time job right off the start. Personally, from my experience, it started off as a hobby where I would make videos with friends and we would upload them and have a laugh together. Then I started posting YouTube guides to help me do Easter eggs in the future and to help me and my friends do Easter eggs in the future. And then eventually when Modern Warfare happened, I started making those camo guide videos and they started to gain some traction on YouTube. But I've been uploading YouTube videos since 2013. And I would say I have about 50 to 60 privated videos that no one can see that I've uploaded since 2013 with a variety of different content. So what I'm trying to say is don't focus on doing YouTube full time right away. If you have the financial means and the educational means to do it where you're graduated from university and have lots of money and you want to try a different career path, go for it. But if you're younger in life, still attending college, still attending high school in elementary school and still have lots of priorities, whether that's tax, rent, bills, food, water, shelter, all that stuff. If you have priorities in life, don't dump that all for YouTube. I think that's pretty self-explanatory to say, and YouTube is a dream job for a lot of people now. I think statistically, there was a census report that came out that most kids want to be a YouTuber compared to doctors or anything else like that. And I completely understand why. It seems 
like a lot of fun and it is at some times but what a lot of people don't realize is that youtube comes with this whole business aspect side of it which is what i don't think a lot of people realize until they're put in the position that they are where youtube becomes a business for them but for you my friend i recommend starting off youtube give it a try show your friends what you upload and when you feel comfortable show your parents and your step parents i think if they truly do love and support you, that you will get the support that you need. But you also have to realize your parents just want you to succeed in life and they want you to be happy and healthy. Based off of my experience with my parents, my parents didn't have an issue with video games or YouTube whatsoever. What they had an issue with was I was basically abandoning some of my responsibilities to play games and to make videos and my grades started to slip. So they didn't hate me playing video games. They hated how I did not focus on the important things. So as long as you balance playing video games, doing your important things, spending time with friends and family, and not wasting your time away playing video games, I personally don't see any issue with that, but your parents might see it differently and your step parents might see it differently. They might think that video games is a bad consumption form of media, which I obviously disagree with, but I understand where it comes from. So. I kind of understand where your dad and stepmom are coming from. They most likely, I honestly don't know the situation, but they, they sound like they want you to succeed in life and they don't want you wasting your time or going down a path where you don't become successful. From the outside, it sounds like they just want you to be happy and to live a good life. Now about your mom and playing at her house for at least 12 years. Depending on how old you are, parents might have different rules at different houses. So if you end up going back and forth, your dad and stepmom might have different rules compared to your mom, which is completely understandable because different parents believe in different things and they want to raise children differently. And I'm assuming your situation's a little difficult and there's been some tears brought into conversations sometimes, but honestly, I think you should do it. I think you should pursue this as a hobby first, if it's something you really enjoy, while maintaining a balance of focusing on your responsibilities in life, do not forget that. If you're in university, don't drop out of university, start making videos instantly, and don't drop out of high school to become a YouTuber. Yes, there are some huge celebrity YouTube, TikTok people that do that, but their circumstances are like so rare that even I, still sit here and think wow that is just unbelievable to think that there is that much money that they're making but go for it give it a try enjoy something that you do and if your parents decide to support you they decide to support you and as i said earlier if they don't support you for some reason and it makes situations complicated just know that it interests you and it makes you happy and it's something you enjoy so don't stop doing something you enjoy just because someone else says no figure out your priorities in life and what you have to take care of responsibility wise and then as you try it out maybe let them know a month or two in once you're comfortable and that goes for anyone else in the same situation because there's lots of parents who have kids and who have family members who want to become youtubers and a lot of people aren't making the smartest choices when it comes to what should you focus on and put your time and effort towards because there are important things in life that you can't forget about and i'm not trying to deter anyone who wants to go down the same path and attempt youtube in the future but keep in mind that all the huge like logan paul pewdiepie and just absolutely mega youtubers that just doesn't happen overnight it happens in very 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 rare cases that have odds we can't even comprehend there is 500 million minutes of video uploaded to youtube every single hour so if you can put that number into perspective you are competing with a lot of people and that's not me telling you not to do it i genuinely want you guys to try it if it's something you want to do and i hope you find some inspiration in my videos and in other youtubers videos that make you want to create your own but don't waste time and effort and put your priorities to the side to take this risk and as we all know youtube is not dictated by people it's dictated by the algorithm so you could make the best quality content in the world and be really proud of it and have your peers in your personal life absolutely love the content but if the algorithm doesn't pick it up it's really hard to grow on youtube so 
I don't mean to scare off people from trying it. I just want to let you guys know what comes with doing YouTube full time and having YouTube as a job and all the risks that there actually are. So there's no false hopes and misinformation being spread around. And I'm just trying to share based off of my personal experience. I'm sure there's tons of other YouTubers who have different perspectives, but this is mine. Anyway, once again, if you guys have any questions for future episodes, Discord link in the description, the Wild Wednesdays tab, and you can ask your situation or question there. And leave a like if you guys did enjoy, just like if you didn't, there's no hard feelings. Subscribe for more videos in the future, and if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.